Well, here we are again. I think this is our eighth um, farming conference, and um, I'd like to welcome you all here. So uh, reassuring for a, a states member to be in a room full of clever people it doesn't happen uh, uh, very often. And uh, <laughs> I have a saying that if I'm the cleverest person in the room, I'm usually in the, in the wrong room. So welcome to all of our experts and to all of you. Thank you very much. welcome here today. The theme for this year's conference is farming matters, and it does matter. Our rural economy is based uh, on a managed farm landscape, and still the majority of our island is farmed. And given the challenges of farming uh, today, this is a success that should be celebrated and, and recognised in this conference. I think will go a long way to uh, doing that. And also I hope that we can improve uh, the understanding of islanders, uh, because many islanders in, this, uh, in our small island are not involved in farming. And I think events like this will help them to understand uh, not just how important agriculture is to our island, but the benefits we all derive from it. We're here today uh, to share ideas and to learn, and to focus on environmental and economic um, sustainability, the economic sustainability of the sector. And we need to protect um, and maintain the shared rural resources that we all enjoy. Uh, we're going to consider innovations, new technology, and opportunities for diversification. I'm not going to talk too much about productivity today, but that is at the center of our economic uh, strategy and our economic policy. And I know there are some great examples of the industry already um, delivering improved productivity. I think we also need to think about how we can continue uh, to best work together, all of the stakeholders, the community and the government, because a good uh, and healthy partnership is essential moving forward. And we have a lot of challenges to overcome as well in the years ahead. Uh, for example, working with the elements of the land and the extremes of climate becoming uh, more commonplace. And in the last 12 months, it has been too wet, and then too dry, and then too cold, and then too hot, and then too wet again. I'm already sounding like a farmer. Um, <laughs> but that's um, a, a real challenge in the years ahead. And I'm pleased we are working closely with the dairy industry and possibly the animal sector um, so that the states can help financially where necessary during these difficult times. Diversif diversification of new crops, uh, for example, tea, hemp, um, which are becoming more commercially established, I think is also important to help us um, work the land in a more sustainable way. And working with people and technology is also important and the availability of recruitment to staff is um, a, a real challenge at the moment. And I'm pleased to say that we, I think, are close to be um, able to go outside of the EU uh, to bring in important labour for the industry. And I would recognise the uh, very good work of the Farmers Union um, for the research they have done and the work in closely known with the Affairs Minister. And I believe they're very close to come to, to uh, announcing a, a trial where we can bring new workers in next year. Ex um, precision farming techniques uh, are also something that Jersey is uh, beginning to excel at. And um, again, that not only will improve productivity, but it will play an important part in, in reducing the environmental impact of, on, on the land. So um, I'm, I very much hope that that continues. And I would like to see um, the states uh, embrace that further with the industry when we come to refreshing the world of economy strategy, which I think we'll do to look at next year. Um, funding remains at the agreed level. Um, one thing uh, my department was able to do was to uh, retain funding. I know by retaining funding we're not increasing it with inflation. It, it, it's a, a real a slight reduction, but given the financial climate of the time, I think we did well uh, to do that. But since we've done that, I think the industry has come on by embracing the new rural economy strategy uh, and 
working uh, and, and displaying more environmentally friendly credentials, I think that will put us in good stead when we have the new government plan in 2020, which replaces the medium term financial plan. I won't get too technical um, with it, probably because I don't know that much about it myself at the moment, but I will, I, I will say that the work we've done to date and the work you've done to date will put us in good stead because I intend not only to seek to retain the funding of the industry, but I think the states and the taxpayer needs to be investing further. <coughs> I think that's enough um, from me. I'll finish by saying our countryside is a place of natural beauty that can be enjoyed and appreciated by all our members. The agricultural hinterland is vital to the look and feel of the island. The rural backdrop has been created and is maintained by your activity. By farmers and rural enterprise, you are essential. It helps to define us. It's part of our DNA. It gives us a sense of place, a sense of identity and a strong sense of cultural heritage. Can I thank John and the team uh, for putting this event on today, and I hope you have a, a very informative and constructive session. Thank you very much.